Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is sort of a green smoky eye look. I was playing around with my makeup about two weeks ago and I sort of was like, oh, I want to do a bold colour that I wouldn't normally do. So I took a photo of what I'm going to try and achieve. I don't know if I'll be able to do it again. It's, see that green? I don't know if you can see it because my phone's got the anti-glare, but that's what I'm going for today. We'll see how we go. Wish me luck because I haven't done it again and I was just like playing around as oh yeah just let this on so I'm trying to remember what I used I've changed some of my products but let's get into it so I'm going to be starting with my hourglass the veil primer I've been loving this primer actually been using it a lot quite tanned at the oh, I can't really tell but I'm tanned at the moment and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me poreless matte plus poreless that one in the shade 220 so you want to achieve a full face for this look because I'm trying to make the sole focus of this look my eye. So I don't want really any blemishes to be going through. And this foundation works quite well with me. So I'm going to use this one. It's a drugstore one, so it's good. I was going to use one of my expensive ones, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I haven't used this foundation for a while. Probably because I've been so light at the moment. Don't ask me what's going on with my hair. I was like, oh, I want it in plaits. And then I had it in plaits. And now I'm like, oh, I look like a bikey member or something. But anyway, keeps my hair out of my face and stops me from playing with it. So that's the bonus for you guys watching. Right, moving on. Couldn't really choose a concealer I wanted to use. So I'll just go to my trusty Maybelline Fit Me in 20 Sand. And just pop that on my eye. Okay, concealed. Okay, I'm gonna leave the face, no, I'm gonna do the brows. Brows. <laughs> Need to see what I'm working with. I've got to tell you what I'm using. The Chi Chi Brow Pomade. <laughs> Does anyone else have good and brow bad days? Like, today's a good one for my right eye. But, some, yes, oh, one tutorial I did, I was having a really bad day. I couldn't even draw my lines on, it was terrible. I have been loving this Chi Chi brow pomade at the moment. I don't use it for an everyday one, but it probably will slowly end up going into that because I love the uh, coverage it's giving and how it's filling in my brows. It's just doing such a lovely job. I love this product. Going in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Trying to find a brush. I think I'm out. Then I'm going to go in with this Face of Australia Nude palette. This is going to be sort of the sole until I get to the green, so we're going to be working with this for a bit. Just going to use a brush, if I can find one. Really close to the camera right now. Um, oh, I had them all out. This is so annoying. I'm going to go in with just this light shade for now, just to set everything. Radio. Now I'm going to work my way up to a black, so we're going to go really light to start off with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start in with that crease colour that they say is, this one here. Now I haven't used this before, so we'll see how we go. I'm not taking this all the way in because I want the green to be in this portion and I don't want any black to go into that with this grey sort of colour. Ugh, I'm dropping spoolies everywhere. Now I'm going to use this to sort of create a wing. And this is going up to the crease. And everyone says this and it is true, it's all about the blending. It is. 
when you're trying to achieve a smoky eye it is blending and you might not believe it because I wasn't one of those people who did believe it but it is it's blending and I'll probably be blending for five years doing this look same brush but I'm just going to take the cleaner one just to soften it out I'm going with this darker color I don't think it's a black it's sort of a really dark brown because I have a black here and it's nowhere near as dark as that so we're going to go in with that going darker each step still applying that to the outer third Go into the black. This is Napoleon Queen of the Night, which black. So you only need a small amount of this. So I'm just gonna. It's not even pushing it. Just I'm just gonna press this in. Okay, it's really annoying that little bit there. I'm just taking my concealer foundation brush because I just can't do with that right now. I'm going to sort of put a base down before I put this bright green on. I haven't even shown you the colour. Oh, super sad. But anyway, I'm going to use this sleek palette. This is the bright one. See this there? Ooh, isn't that bright? Now this isn't the, the colour I'm going for. This is like a base of the green. So I'm going on this one here. I think it's called Cricut. Cricket. I'm going to use Cricut. Cricut. Anyway, I went into Target and I was like, holy crap, they sell sleek makeup now. I'm like, oh, amazing. And they sell the balm. But it's never in stock. Now, this is, this is the um, awesome colour we're going for. This is my Morphe 35U palette, except when it got delivered to me, it broke, so it shattered. But anyway, we're going to be using this green colour here. That one there. On a wet makeup brush, which is good, with my Fix Plus. So keen to get the other ones, but oh, they are awesome eyeshadows. I can't fault them, and they're just so pigmented. Like, I haven't experienced a pigmented eyeshadow like this before. So I'm going to start taking that to where the black is a little bit, not too far into it. Boom. Okay. Just gonna grab that darker, not the black, that brown, and put it under my waterline. Probably looks really messy on camera. I'm sorry, but I'm still learning. I'm going to do that green and just take it under a bit. I'm not highlighting the inner part of my eyes because the green is going to do that. Oh yeah, I could keep going on with these eyes for ages. I'm going to use my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. You guys can add falsies if you want to. I'm not. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to change about this look, you can do. It doesn't really face me. I'm just doing what I feel comfortable with. And I've got mascara on the top of my eyelid. Bloody hell. Try and fix up this. <laughs> I hate when this happens. I'm just going to blend it in because we got black going. So, you know, more black the better. I am going to add some black 
to that sort of um, where we put that dark brown. And I'm just going to softly blend it out. <laughs> cool. I like this. I like it a lot. Radio. <sighs> that colour just stands out. I'm going to set my under eyes because I've neglected that. Just using this Smashbox contouring sort of palette and going in with this banana highlight shade it says. Yeah, do the nose. Oh, got foundation all on my septum. By the way, my septum is gold, but it comes up silver when I've been editing. I'm like, ugh. It's annoying. And I'm going to contour with this as well. What am I doing? And I forgot a contour brush. Do I use the contour shade? Do, do, do. No, I have to set my face. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so excited with this look. Base of Australia Translucent Powder with this Real Techniques powder brush. This shade here. I made it muddy. Put that down. This whole look might about, is about my eyes, so I'm trying to keep the face soft. So I'm going to use this blush from L'Oreal. Going to highlight with the Napoleon. And then going in with this Maybelline Colour Drama in Nude Perfection. Okay, that's the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Wow, I look like I've been punched when I go like that. Hope you enjoyed this look. Uh, I had fun filming it and I had fun playing with metallics because. Glitter is everything, so <laughs> it'll just give you a close-up if you can see. Wow, it doesn't really look blended. Oh, I'm just going to finish off with some Fix Plus. My camera stopped. Got to that point. But I have more memory. Woohoo! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have any suggestions on metallic, I will use some more from this palette. I'm going to show you it again because it is beautiful, apart from the one that broke. But hey! How gorgeous! They're all metallic as well, so this is gonna be fun. I think I'll do a blue next. Like, look at look at these blues. That's a silver. Oh, silver, silver and black. Oh, it's getting so exciting. All right, better focus. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this look, give it a thumbs up and comment and like this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you. Bye.